so in this uh, video I'm going to explain about a lecture video that is called LED lecture video on Moodle with the TPAC components reflections so here I covered the following topics so now we'll explain about uh, topic by topic so first I'll explain about the Moodle introduction and basic features basically Moodle is a learning management system which is related to students organizations and faculty members so basically Moodle is called modular object oriented dynamic learning environment or platform which is used to create a course website and provide access control so only enrolled students can view it so there is a systematic way those people who are interested to learn a specialized topics those people can use this type of Moodle tool and it offers many options and for example there are some basic features are called how to uploading and sharing materials forums and charts quizzes gathering and reviewing assignments recording grades so uploading and sharing materials means this is the relation between a faculty member and multiple students so before we are going to explain everything before that we are uploading the pre-ready materials into that particular Moodle server or Moodle site then the students are able to getting that material before the class commencement and they are easy to gathering information forums and charts so forums means supposed to be after completion of your lecture if you want to feedback about that lecture students can uh, can use the discussion forms and feedback forms to discuss about the lecture videos among themselves at the same time to give some feedback about whether the lecture is good or not and what contents to be deleted and what contents to be added and quizzes means after completion of your explanation there must be a assignments or we can create multiple quizzes on the landed concepts we will distribute those questions or quizzes in multiple ways to the students to answer that according to that we will give some grades and what are assignments assignments means there are some we can conduct internal assessments and internal tests using this using this learning platform a recording grade means once those people are go through the assignments or quizzes after completion of their uh, assignments according to the, so there is a grading system to reflect the performance of the student next reasons of why Moodle is special because so it is a just think about it as a as a teacher or as a student uh, why we are moving from classroom teaching to this type of uh, uh, online centric uh, online platform to learn these concepts so I'll give it 10 seconds of time why Moodle and why Moodle get this much of specialty there are so many learning management system tools available in uh, internet but uh, all those organizations students and faculty are maintaining large community of Moodle why because Moodle is a open source software open source means we can edit the code we can customize as according to our requirement and our organization details and uh, some more reasons are student demand student schedules better courses in simple way in one line the Moodle is a student centric platform which is flexible to student that means student is not only uh, need to come to uh, particular area particular physical classroom and there is no time limit or time balance like in a world uh, old traditional classroom system we can upload the our video lecture and this student go through that video at any time and he can learn those things from the that video and for and followed by the we can use some time limit of one day at any time those people able to assign those quizzes and complete those quizzes next what makes Moodle special so we are all explain these things the main three points are free and open source education philosophy and community free and open source means anybody can download this particular software from the web, web browser 
with a given link and we can create an account with some details of your user and password we can enroll and we must be communicate between multiple students and multiple faculty also education philosophy means whatever the things are exactly needed by the education system all those things are can manage by the lot of many features provided by the module and what about community community means because of this uh, open source category so many people are able to communicate with each other and there are a lot of large number of people who support this module and create their own websites and they create own servers according to the requirement of the academics for example there are a lot many universities following different different uh, curriculums different different academic plans different different uh, question scenarios so whatever the format uh, every type of format can be supported by that module tool and next uh, how and uh, what and how to use Moodle. We know that uh, Moodle is a web based tool you can access through a web browser. We will explain that one. There is a um, that link called http.moodle.org. So we can go through this site and we can download our own website. Otherwise, if supposed to be a particular organization maintain a common Moodle account, there must be a server. In the server, we can install all the related details with respect to branch, with respect to organization, with respect to different different courses, with respect to different years. According to those things, we can manage this data by under the surveillance of system administrator. Next, yeah, well, I'll explain Moodle features. There is the overview of the Moodle features, like uh, how to create account and how to manage your class, how to create student groups. So we can create a student groups individually according to the requirement, and we can create forums and charts because is there any announcement, or uh, is there any new things we need to explain? All those things reflected in the forums, charts, and uh, messaging concepts for chatting purpose. And next, uh, quizzes. After completion of your sessions, we can create a quiz and managing a quiz. We can extend the data, extend the date, and we can uh, uh, submit those things. And assignments, there is creating assignments. There is a feature called and assignment capabilities. Uh, that is, uh, we can provide Bloom tag so many uh, ways. Uh, that is a typical question, an average question, an easy question. And creating lessons according to the syllabus and grades and scales after completion of quizzes and assignments how can we assign multiple grades to multiple students that leads to their performance this is service and choices because the service means so if supposed to be a course is incorporated in the model what is the expected outcomes whether it is really reached the outcomes or not if not what things we need to be add for the next preparation of the model things administration you know that how can a administrator uh, um, add users, locations, languages, and modules. Supposed to be if any, but uh, anybody get um, forgot your password, we need to reset password. There is a chance of reset password and uh, resetting service everything. Now we explain about what type of components are reflected in this LED. So basically, oh, you know about uh, type of components. We are, as a participant of the uh, FDP three not one. We familiar with these things and uh, uh, according to that knowledge if you if supposed to be if you're not familiar with tpac please follow the below links this one and this one next one so he, in, in this video i explain about uh, the knowledge we involve technological knowledge and content knowledge of tpac components so we explain about how and why the digital tool model used by teachers that means there is indirectly it is a technical uh, content of the pack and we explain about the con specific concepts or content called Moodle that is it is related to content knowledge so here we are using a compound component called TCK that is technological content knowledge of the TPAC thank you thank you very much